Imagine coming face to face with a creature so large it towered over the trees. A giant that once roamed the earth long before any McDonald's were around. This wasn't a dinosaur or a mammoth, but something equally as fascinating. The giant sloth, also known as the Megatherium. In this video, we'll explore the astonishing world of these ancient titans. From their discovery to their immense size, unique adaptations, and the mysteries surrounding their extinction. So if you're curious about these gentle giants, stick around. There's a lot to uncover. The discovery of the giant sloth goes back to the late 18th century in 1788. The first megatherium fossil was unearthed in Argentina by Manuel Torres. But it wasn't until a few years later that the famous French naturalist George Cuvier studied these remains in detail. Cuvier was fascinated by the creature's enormous size and unique skeletal structure which led him to correctly conclude that this was a ground-dwelling sloth. His insights sparked widespread interest and laid the foundation for paleontologists to explore further into the lives of these giants. Now, let's dive into the details of what Megatherium looked like. This prehistoric sloth was immense, with some individuals reaching over 20 feet in length and weighing as much as 4 tons. They had massive limbs with huge, curved claws designed not for climbing trees, but for defense and mainly digging. Unlike modern sloths, Megatherium walked on all fours, though fossil evidence suggests they could also stand on their hind legs to reach vegetation high in the treetops. With powerful muscles and a strong jaw, they had no trouble feeding on tough plants, but despite their impending appearance, they were herbivores, primarily feeding on leaves, shrubs, and branches. To understand how Megatherium evolved, we need to go back to around 35 million years ago, during the Oligocene Epoch, when the ancestors of all sloths first emerged in South America. Over millions of years, different sloth species adapted to various habitats, with Megatherium evolving around 5 million years ago. Unlike the smaller tree-dwelling sloths we know today, Megatherium was part of a lineage that adapted to life on the ground. Scientists believe these giant sloths evolved into such massive creatures due to the abundance of plant resources and the lack of large predators in their environment. Size is one of the most striking features of Megatherium. As stated before, these creatures weighed up to 4 tons. They were one of the largest terrestrial animals, rivaling even the mammoths of the time. Standing on two legs, they could reach a height of nearly 12 feet allowing them to access food resources that smaller herbivores just couldn't reach, allowing them to occupy unique niches once only occupied by mammoths. Their sheer size also acted as a deterrent to predators, though they were still vulnerable to large carnivores and eventually even human hunters. The giant sloth lived in a diverse range of habitats, from woodlands to savannas spread across South America. Despite being herbivores, they played an essential role in their ecosystem, helping to shape the landscape by breaking down vegetation and digging for roots. Their massive claws were not only useful for gathering food, but also for defense. Fossil evidence shows that they likely coexisted with early humans, and some researchers believe humans may have even hunted Megatherium, contributing to their eventual extinction around 10,000 years ago. Although Megatherium disappeared from our planet thousands of years ago, its legacy endures in the fossil record and in the imaginations of scientists and enthusiasts alike. Studying these giant sloths not only provides insight into the past, but also helps us understand how ecosystems function when influenced by large herbivores. While their time on Earth may have ended, the story of Megatherium reminds us all of the incredible diversity and resilience of life. Who knows, as we continue to discover more fossils, we may uncover even more secrets about these incredible giants. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of Megatherium. If you enjoyed learning about these gentle giants, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more prehistoric content. Let us know in the comments what other ancient creatures you'd like to see covered next.